Now lads, welcome everybody back to another FIFA 22 video. Now we've got some information on the new weekend league coming up in FIFA 22. If you guys missed my last couple of videos, we went over the best version of FIFA 22 to buy in my opinion, comparing the standard ultimate and also another video on all of the perks and, and the bonuses that you do receive if you pre-order ultimate team. So I've got three FIFA 22 videos in a row. Um, I wouldn't say FIFA 21 content is dead. FIFA 21 is actually really, really solid content right now. I'm actually enjoying the game and it's still like another two months until the full release of the game but nonetheless FIFA 22 is, it's that time of the year when FIFA 22 information that does come out if you guys want you know FIFA 21 FIFA 22 we're just we're a FIFA YouTube channel so if you are new and this does uh, help you out or if you do enjoy it make sure to drop a like and subscribe let's get into the video so guys as you can see Donk Trading on Twitter has tweeted out foot champs changes in FIFA 22 and this is all confirmed from King Langpard now I do really offer I uh, do offer i do really recommend going to drop him a follow checking him out he is one of a, he's also a sick streamer i mean this pin tweet reminds me he's actually a sick streamer but not only that he's one of the most reliable uh leakers out there I, I don't think he's actually ever missed with a leak so this is not 100 confirmed from ea but it is like a 99 chance it's happening i heard rumors about it like a month ago um that the weekend league was getting narrowed to 20 games and this kind of you know confirms the rumors so what we're going to do is we're going to look over all of these and i'm going to like you know tell you guys what i think will happen um and you know explain for those of you that might not know so starting off we've got weekend league qualification required every single week five games and you need three wins needed and you've got three attempts so you've got three attempts to win three out of five games so up to 15 games and obviously all split up into fives so let's say um you'll have a five game limit you have to win three if you fail you've got another attempt if you fail to win three out of five again you've got another attempt so they give you a really solid opportunity now what this means and what you will see happen is you're going to see a lot less casuals playing weekend leagues because lots of casuals if you're not great at the game they won't be able to get three out of five wins it is i mean i say tough it's going to be sweaty but it's going to be balanced as well because like if you're a gold free player this year honestly you should have no worries at all trying to get this because there'll be a lot of more casual players trying to qualify that you should be able to beat um it's kind of similar to division rival placement i'm assuming will be like division rival placement at the beginning of this year uh going into this year i was like a gold three gold two player and i went five and oh in my division rivals placements i kind of have area area now where i'm in between gold one and elite so it'll be really interesting to see um how, how this affects me next year so i mean Honestly, lads, I do not think the weekend league qualification is a bad thing, but like I said, actual weekend league, if you do end up qualifying, the actual weekend league you will find will be a lot harder um, because you can't really be facing any bad players because you have to be relatively good at the game to actually qualify for the weekend league. Now, next up is less games, 20 games, narrowed down from 30 to 20, um, which does mean, obviously, the ranks you get will be harder. Now, another rumor... This is not confirmed, this is literally a rumour, but someone in my chat told me Gold 1 is 14 wins, and Elite 3 is, uh, I think, 16 wins, he said, and I'm guessing, assuming Elite 2 will be 18, and I'm I'm assuming maybe Elite 1 will be 19 wins, uh, slash 20, and then obviously it will be top 100, top 200, um, so... If that is right, I mean, less games, 20, it would make sense if, say, Gold 1 was 14 wins, I'd assume. Uh, gold 3 would be 10 wins, and I would probably assume that Gold 2 would be 12 wins. Now, I, I went over the maths with my chat the other night, and I'm a Gold 1 player this year. So you have to go 20 and 10, um, and for this year you have to go 14 and 6, or next year apparently, if this is true, you have to go 14 and 6. So it will be a lot harder. Um, if you are an elite free player this year, going into next year, it'll be a new FIFA, so who knows, you might be an insane player, you might not be great. But in comparison, if you finish gold one this year, I'd probably assume it'll be probably much harder to get gold one next year when there is only 20 games and you will be facing a lot of better players. So basically... Weekend League and FIFA 22 is going to get a whole lot far, uh, harder, a whole lot harder, and it's going to narrow out a lot of the, uh, you know, casual players playing it. The last one, new player reward system, higher rank equals a better version of the card. I'm actually in the middle of this one. I'm not sure what I think of this one. Um, it's going to, you know, it's going to make a debate. It is going to make a big debate, definitely, because there's obviously, if you do finish in a lower rank, you still want to have an opportunity of getting a good version of a player, right? And by kind of limiting that now. But then at the same time, if you 
uh, like, you know, finish at a high rank, you deserve to be rewarded more than you do if you don't. This year, like, during TOTS is the only time, like, getting Elite free for the team of the season packs are very worth it, because you're, like, guaranteed 200k, and if you're lucky, you can make millions. So I feel like during team of the season this year in FIFA 21 was the only time it was really good, you know, trying to play onto Elite free. But before TOTS, literally, the, you usually just got free discard informs. So it was very unrewarding for the very good Elite level players, and, you know, you were seeing gold free, silver one players getting red red Neymar, red Ronaldo, so next year, if you are not an amazing player, let's say you're around that silver one, gold three, well, obviously it's still a good player, don't get me wrong, but say you're around that silver one, gold three mark, um, by the looks of it, you will not be able to have an opportunity to get that good of cards, what I assume with this, it says a higher rank equals a better version of the card, let's take, you guys can't see it, but I've got a Bukayo Saka card right there, um, let's say, Bukayo Saka, match week one, and team of week one, let's say Arsenal beat Brentford, um, and he gets a team of the week, let's say he gets an 83 rated team of the week, I'd assume, going off of this, um, let's say you finish a uh, gold one onwards, you'd most likely have a chance to get that 83 rated card. But then let's say you finish gold two or gold three, you might only have a chance of getting maybe an 82 rated version of that card, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't even know if Team of the Weeks will be in the next red picks. We all don't know. That is not confirmed. This is literally all the information we have here. Um, but as you can see, higher rank equals a better version of the card. It does not say of cards, of the card so meaning uh you could have an option of getting a 93 ronaldo in a high rank but if he is in team of the week and they do it that way and you're finishing a lower rank you might only be able to get a 90 rated ronaldo um so i mean it's interesting and it also will be a way to tell if you match someone and they've got a higher version of that card you know they're a good player to get that so it's interesting um now out of these i like the 20 games the qualification I'm in the middle of, obviously, it will be a lot sweatier. Um, but, but like that 20 games, taking 10 games away, a lot less stress. But still, you're up to 15 games. You have to win three out of five. Like I said, you have uh, three different attempts to get that as well. It's going to be tough. It, the, the 20 games as well are going to be a lot, a lot harder. At worst, you're probably going to be like... Worst case, you face someone who literally just clinched three out of five wins, which isn't, you know, particularly very easy to do. You've got, what, have to win, have a 60% win rate. Um, but I do like that EA have given you free attempts to do so throughout the week. And the good thing is, um, you can literally just, you know, uh, if, if you don't get it one time, you've got another time, you've got another time. If you don't get three out of five wins all three times, you just wait till the next week and go again. Uh, you don't necessarily get punished for it, you just miss out on weekend league, which may be a blessing in disguise, if it, I mean, if we're going off of anything this year. But as well, what I'm going to do, uh, part of this video, is basically I put a tweet out on Twitter and I said, Forts, three attempts to get three out of five wins is interesting, also 20 games, all of that. Now, I had a reply of a qualification I like, um, I just hope there's an alternative mode, and I would assume that there is an alternative mode. This, I'm guessing the qualification definitely definitely will not be placed in division rivals, nor do I think it will be placed in foot champs. It will be a completely separate mode. I'm guessing they'll make a mode called weekend league qualification, something along those lines. I have also heard um, another trading account. I'm not too sure what it is, so I can't get it up. But apparently they didn't tell us what, but there is going to be a division rivals revamp. So there's going to be a whole new division rival system. Um, but now you do not qualify for foot champs through division rivals, which is very interesting. Um, I'm hoping... I I mean, to be fair, I like it because that means you can still play for rank one because obviously this year, um, what they did is if you play the champs game, it takes one of the rivals games away. So if they do do a revamp to rivals, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, rivals is basically a completely separate mode now. So you're going to have probably division rivals, weekend league, and weekend league qualification where you have to get the three out of five wins. Now, I had also another reply here. Um, I'm, I'm more like, I'm pretty sure his name is a very nice guy, another YouTuber as well, if you guys want to check him out. Qualification is good, plus once you're qualified, as long as you get silver one every week you're good which is once again true silver one it must only be six to seven wins which i'm guessing they're going to remove some of the lower ranks I'm, I'm guessing they're probably going to remove maybe like a bronze three and a bronze two rank so if you finish on like zero out of if you play all your games and finish zero out of 20 wins then i'm guessing you'll probably get like i don't know bronze three rewards which would be terrible um but yeah silver one will probably be like five or six wins now it will be obviously a lot less wins to balance it out um and also it actually depends on how many attempts you get to qualify which obviously you get the five attempts lads let me know what you think about this down below if you've got any questions or if you didn't really understand it i'll try and reword it better to you hopefully i answered all the questions you guys have so when your boy davis make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more fifa 21 still grinding that and obviously when fifa 22 is out it's going to be our year we're going to hit 10k so when your boy davis and until next time lads peace out boys